No president of his era embraced the Western United States quite like Teddy Roosevelt. Tragic events of February 14, 1884, drove Roosevelt to make a drastic change in his life. On that fateful day in 1884, at the age of 25, his mother died of typhoid fever, and his wife, who had two days earlier given birth to their first daughter, died of an undiagnosed kidney ailment. He obviously was distraught and decided to move to the Dakota Territory to pursue ranching. Thus began his lifelong love and devotion to the American West. Roosevelt developed a lifelong relationship with three Old West lawmen, and he appointed each one to positions in federal law enforcement. These three appointees became known as Roosevelt's White House gunfighters. Ben Daniels was known to Roosevelt through his service with the Rough Riders in the Spanish-American War, and prior to that had served in law enforcement in the West. Ben led a somewhat checkered younger life. In his late twenties, he was convicted of stealing army mules and served three and a half years in prison in Wyoming for that crime. He was also tried for murder, but even though the evidence clearly pointed to him being guilty, he was acquitted. Daniels served with Roosevelt as a rough rider in the Spanish-American War and developed a lifelong friendship with the future president. This led to his appointment as a U.S. Marshal for the Arizona Territory in 1902. Daniels resigned the position after serving only a month. Word of his misdeeds and incarceration in his younger days caused too much political pressure and Roosevelt accepted his resignation. Three years later, after the hoopla had died down, he was again appointed to the U.S. Marshal's position in Arizona and served until Roosevelt left office in 1909. Pat Garrett was another ex OS lawman admired by Roosevelt. He was elected sheriff of Lincoln County, New Mexico on November 2, 1880. His biggest claim to fame as a lawman was the pursuit and killing of outlaw William Bonney, Billy the Kid. Garrett was perceived by many as a shoot first, ask questions later type lawman. On December 16, 1901, Roosevelt appointed him to the position of Collector of Customs in El Paso. Because of Garrett's lack of respect from many people of his era, there was a public outcry over his appointment. Many people swore to his incompetence in his job, and in early 1906, Roosevelt was forced to relieve Garrett of his duties. Bat Masterson was the most famous of the three White House gunfighters. He lived a life of many pursuits, but is probably best known for his stint as Dodge City, Kansas Marshal. He was a friend and acquaintance of many famous OS celebrities, to include the Earps, Doc Holliday, and Buffalo Bill Cody. Masterson had a long love affair with the sport of boxing. He attended numerous fights to include most of the heavyweight championship bouts of his time, the golden era of boxing. He worked with many fighters, promoters, and officials within the fight industry. After his days as an OS lawman, he settled in New York City to pursue a successful career in journalism. While living in New York, he met Theodore Roosevelt. President Roosevelt appointed Masterson as a U.S. Marshal for the Southern District of New York, a position he held until 1909. Roosevelt's successor to the presidency, William Taft, did not share Roosevelt's enthusiasm for Masterson. As a result, he was relieved of his employment as a federal law officer. Masterson lived out his life covering boxing events for the New York Morning Telegraph. Roosevelt's trio of federal law enforcement appointees served with a mixed degree of success. All had checkered backgrounds during their years as Old West lawmen, and to a certain extent, those backgrounds carried over into their later careers as federal law enforcement officials. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, make a comment, or most importantly, subscribe to the channel. 
As always, thanks for watching.